I think it's been going on for a decade already. I mean, I think having it focused in the political arena has got everybody's attention on a problem that has been plaguing us in in business and it, frankly I think is a huge national security threat. If you sit there and look at cyber crime, it is now a gigantic business and the internet is not architected to prevent that kind of stuff and we've not had any national policy for addressing what has been an increasingly large, increasingly dangerous problem that's now tipped over into our political system. So hopefully now we will get a national consensus. But one of our problems is that most of the elected officials in our government are not even remote experts, right? I mean, our president-elect is talking about effectively using bike couriers to send things around because in theory that's more secure than email. And I'm sitting here going, seriously, we need to get some adults in the room and really take this seriously because, you know, we have real challenges to the economy if these vulnerabilities continue to be exploited at the rate they've been exploited in the past. Well, it seems somewhat ironic, too, because on one hand, earlier this year, you had the government saying that apps like Telegram and end-to-end -end encryption were like carrying around a Swiss bank account in your pocket. Right. But now, once their information is out there, of course, their supporters and proponents of encryption of some of these newer technologies to help keep some of that information out of the public and, eye. And I think the scary part of this is a lot of this crime happens without the victims being aware of it. You know, much as what happened with Wells Fargo on creating fake bank accounts, that it's relatively easy to cover your tracks in this world, and they can drip money out of accounts so people barely notice it. And I just, I look at this and go, I think it is such a good thing that we're having this conversation now. I don't know how it's going to turn out relative to the political side, but it's really clear to me that we need to make this a national priority. It, uh, there's no point in building, you know, new aircraft carriers and new submarines if for ten thousand dollars somebody can bring our electrical grid to its knees and that's the problem it's the asymmetry the fact that it costs very little to do huge harm hey there thanks for checking out cnbc on youtube be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories you can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from cnbc thanks for watching